glory to I Jesus. I am seeing a Rebecca here. If you're a Rebecca, Rebecca. If there is somebody this side, you're a Rebecca. If somebody's a Rebecca. Rebecca, is that you? Please come, come here. This side, not, not Rebecca there. I'm talking about this one. Rebecca's miracle cannot escape her. Pastor Alf was shown this woman who is hidden among a crowd. Where's your husband? Is he? What is his name? Albert. Albert. Yes, man of God. Oh, Albert. I'm not looking for Rebecca's. I'm looking for this Rebecca. But because you are Rebecca, also may the Lord bless you too. Amen. Wherever you are, God bless you. Albert, how are you doing? I'm okay. I'm okay. How are you? I'm fine. I'm just fine. <laughs> and you? Yes, Papa, I'm fine. Okay. Are you from Zambia? Yes, sir. Yes. Mauritian? We know Mauritian. Uh, bueno, bueno. <laughs> bueno. Ah, oh, God. Now, look at this. You must thank this woman who brought me this side because her testimony of her ears. While being here, I got, I got a word for you. Kena Masoto, God is about to do good things in your life. Thank Receive you, Jesus. it. Because Thank you, you, Jesus. you carry that. You've been praying for it. Yes, Lord. And you, how are you doing, Albert? I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> this is your wife? Yes. So you come to church here? No. You don't? Yes. Is this your first time? Yes. Is also your first time or you come here? I come, but not every day, like once in a while. Once in a while? Yes. But you're a child of God? Yes. You go to church? Amen, yes. I go to church. Not this church? Not this church. But I hear you come once in a while? Yes. All right. Yes. Because you are part of Johannesburg, right? Yes. You stay in Johannesburg? Yes, man of God, yes. Because I am seeing you working in premier knowledge yes that's true that's true that's you're working in a company, company called premier knowledge yes sir and that is in honeydew yes man of god do you go to church that side also yes i go to church that side which church is that revealed word ministries revealed word yes. ministry yes papa that sounds like a prophetic ministry yes so you go to revealed word ministry yes, somewhere papa. there yes i don't know the church yes but sir that's where you go yes you work there yes you are see you working with your hand. You like woodwork. Yes. Do you have your own workshop? Yes. You work for yourself? Yes. Do you love your wife? Too much. Too much? Yes. <laughs> do you tell, tell your wife you love her too much? I always do that. You always do that? Yes. Ah, oh, this is good. Do, do you love your husband? Yes, I love him so much. You love him so much? Yes. All right. All right, that's why I want to help the two of you. Please come closer. Get closer to each other. Now, stretch your hands toward this young couple. They've been going through winds, and these winds are very deceptive. The winds that I'm seeing may destroy what God has already set in their lives. They have fought many battles before, and God brought them this far. But now I'm seeing the deception of the enemy going into them. Now, Albert, Albert, hear this. You are about to make a mistake that is grave, that will cost you a lot. Do you understand? Yes. You are about to make a mistake. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. You don't know what I'm talking about? No. All right. I will help. May I give you a prophetic advice not to do what you agreed with your friends to do? In November, I see you going to a friend's house. Do you know a guy called Tom? He's married to Pearl. Yes, he's my best friend. He's your best friend. You have discussed over your own marriage that you're about to leave. You are planning in your heart that this January, you are packing, you're leaving your wife, you're going to Canada. <laughs> I'm hearing you saying to them that you have family in Canada. Yeah, I've got... Uh, I don't want to break things. This is disturbing, but nonetheless, by virtue of them being in a prophetic house, God will rectify this. The enemy will always attack marriage. We Papa, ought always to be careful of his schemes. Papa, this young woman is broken. Your grace, oh God. <laughs> oh, what have I done to you? <laughs> what have 
hear this. The reason why I'm saying this is because you're a good couple. God wants to prevent something to happen. Do you understand? Now, did you speak to them that you want to leave your wife or not? Yes, I did. Look, I'm not here to blame you. You are saying it is because I can hear you clearly say, I'm leaving this January, I'm selling everything I have because I love her, but I cannot be without a child. It's true. Tell me, do you know Tom and Pearl? Yes, my love God, I know them. You know them? Yes. You were married for six years now. It's true, my love God. You have no child. Yes. And that this is, is haunting you inside. You are saying to yourself, I can't take it. I love my wife, but mm -mm. So the choice you have made is not really a choice of whether you love her. It's a choice of, I gotta have a family that goes beyond me and her. That's why you wanted to leave. Now, whatever God want to do is to fix the two of you because tomorrow, you will me. Their time has come. They will no longer wait. That blessing will manifest. But you see, how can the blessings of God come into your family if you are untrue to each other? I had asked you earlier on, do you love your wife? Yes, I do. You love each other. Yes. But yet in your heart, you have already planned to leave her. You are going to Canada. It's true. I'm leaving. He's still confirming that he's leaving. Even after the man of God has prophetically revealed the plan of the enemy, he looks embarrassed, but this is a decision that he has taken. May God fix this. May God touch his heart. I believe they have come trusting God for far greater than the word. He wants to embrace her, but realizing his mistake, he seems reluctant. She is torn apart. I mean, after six years of marriage, a spouse decides to leave without disclosing this to you? It's sad. This was not the intention that God had when he created marriage. May God dismantle the plans of Satan. Thank you, Jesus. This is where the healing starts. Before God opens her womb, we thank God that there is a change of heart from this man. The angel God spoke to Joseph and said, mm. Be not afraid to take Mary. As a wife, Jesus. I'll bet the enemy is playing tricks on you, and this is grave. This will cost you a lot. The idea of leaving your wife did not come from God. Today, the Lord has served will meet you at the point of your needs. Amen. Hear me. There are battles that you are fighting. The reason why for six years you've been trusting God for a child you have not seen is because of the battles that you've been fighting. Your battle comes from Esther's side. From Esther's side. Hey, that's my mother. Esther is your mother. Yes, mother. Because the spirit of the Lord has taken me to Livingstone. That's my hometown. Livingstone. Yes, sir. In Zambia. Yes, sir. You are from Livingstone. Yes. Who is Zachariah? It's my father. Zachariah is your father. Yes, sir. Your father and your mother has only one child, and that is you. Yes, sir. It's true. Is that true? Yes, sir. Your mother could not give birth. Once they got married, your mother went through a lot of difficulties before having you. It took over four years before you came. 
It's true, man of God. You know about that? Yes. Now, the same battle now is what you are fighting. After you, your mother could not have any other child. You, your womb, is suffering the same bondage. But fear not. My name is Aflu Kau. Saints to deal with difficult matters, a general anointed differently. Hear this. You are trusting God for children. Yes, man of God. You want to have three children. Yes, sir. You yes. want to have twins. Yes, sir. It's true. A boy and a girl. Yes, sir. And a one boy. Yes, sir. Is that correct? Yes, I even wrote it in my diary, to my prayer point. You wrote it in your diary? Yes, sir. Where's your diary? I left it by uh, the Bring your diary. <laughs> Let's prove this. We need to confirm what the man of God has said. May this fool someone who does not believe in the prophetic. May your faith be rejuvenated. God speaks. My prayer point right there. Look at this. Read it for the public. My prayer point. I want three kids, twins first, boy and girl, boy last. Glory to Jesus. Family, they have it. The man of God was precise. But you see, the thing is that you do not want three children, you want four children. Is that correct? Yes. You didn't want three children. Yes, I Did want you want four children? I want four children. Why? Because my father had four children. <laughs> ah. So you, in your heart, you want four children because your father had four children. You are four in the family. Yes. Do you have people in Canada? My mother. Your mother is in Canada? Yes. So you wanted to go to Canada because you want to go to mommy? <laughs> Okay. Now, listen to me. This is a, a young couple, six years waiting for a child. She wanted three children. He wanted four children. They got to a point where they are still not seeing the children they wanted. He feels that uh, he's draining, he's uh, dragging, and uh, he wants to move on. But hear me. Today, God's eyes are on you. Something good will begin to manifest in your life. Amen. Hear me. Next year, yes. about this time, Thank you, oh, yes. the first set of twins will come. We oh, somebody celebrate Jesus. God for them. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Somebody oh, yes. celebrate God for them. We glorify you, I Jesus. Decree and I declare, next year about this time, the first set of twins you, Jesus. will come in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Did you hear me? Don't leave your wife. Tell me you will not leave her anymore. I'm so uh. sorry for that. Stretch your hands toward them. What a mighty God. We serve. We serve a good God. He is not what made of wood or stone. God. Did you see how the prophetic played a role in not just manifesting healing, but also bringing restoration to a marriage? Truly, God is in this place. We acknowledge His greatness and His love. He deserves all the praise, all the glory. What a mighty God we serve. If you serve the mighty God, sing it again. What a mighty God. anointing that comes of her will cause her womb to open in the mighty name of Jesus. This battle of barrenness that came from Esther ceases today. She was specific about her request and God heard her cry. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel.
You can catch Pastor Off Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMI TV.com. You can follow Pastor Off Lukau on all social media platforms at Off Lukau.